The issue of recognition has for a long time been marginalized in international relations theory and often discussed as a matter of international law. My article, however, approaches this topic as a foreign policy problem for existing state. My research um, therefore extends the debate by, ex by exploring Sweden's recognition of Palestine in October 2014. Recognition has its own politics, yet the complexity of this issue becomes clearest in situations of territorial conflicts and contested states. The uniqueness of the contested nature of the question of Palestinian statehood highlights this complexity even more. Although there is an international consensus on the Palestinian right to have a state of their own in the land occupied in 1967, the recognition of that state still evokes so much controversy in international affairs. Even though when Palestine fulfills the statehood criteria and is able to carry out state functions. So the practical complexity of recognition, in addition to the underdeveloped theoretical understanding of this issue, requires looking into the uh, problem of recognition through new lenses. I suggest therefore here foreign policy as a model to explain the gap between formal politics of recognition and actual decision making for recognizing new states. Foreign policy analysis and narratives of recognition, especially when they are provided, are extremely important for explaining and critically analyzing cases of recognitions and in some instances cases of non recognition. And this is especially important in cases of territorial conflicts and contested states. And therefore, foreign policy analysis and narratives of recognition need to be integrated more consistently in the study of states recognition. Without going into too much speculation, another country, Colombia, has recognized Palestine last August this year. And by the way, it's the last South American nation to do so. In the case of Colombia, hardly anyone noticed the Colombian decision. There was no international abroad or debate. And this, in my view, has to do with, th with two things. One is the imagined normative value attached to each country. Sweden is considered or perceived as a moral power. The second is the design and the expectations of the Swedish initiative to influence other European nations to follow suit and recognize Palestine. That did not happen so far. Other European nations seemed to prefer the status quo and therefore avoided to take a similar stand on the Palestinian state as Sweden did in order to avoid tensions with the State of Israel and now the Trump administration. One could say with almost some sort of certainty that the question of the Palestinian statehood and the recognition of that state is likely to bring us back to the politics and struggles for recognition in the future. So the problem is still alive and will not go away.